Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, May, March, March 25th, 2022. At least it's the end of the week. And it's been a crazy week around here. So thankfully looking forward to the weekend. And it's a bit chilly out there this morning, but it's nothing compared to what we're going to be experiencing by the time we get to the early part of next week. We'll get to that in a moment. Temperatures range from the mid to upper 30s over at the far northern interior, lower to mid 40s in your suburbs, upper 40s in your urban areas with winds generally light and variable. Uh, you're seeing starting to develop a westerly wind that's going to really take shape by this afternoon. On our latest surface map and radar, you can see the steady heavy rainfall from last night is now off the coast with our wave of low pressure lifting up towards the Canadian Maritimes. Trouble follows for the rest of the weekend with each one of these cold fronts swinging through the region, keeping the conditions unsettled. It's not going to be a complete washout this weekend, but definitely want to keep your umbrella handy, especially on Saturday uh, with the potential for some of these showers. And they'll be convective showers, so that means brief heavy downpours as well. When we take a look at our infrared satellite picture, you can see the colder cloud tops and thus the stronger lifting is all pushing out into the Atlantic. We have a lot of these short waves rotating on through. You can barely see them on the infrared satellite picture, but they're clearly approaching the region. You can see even better on the water vapor satellite picture. You got this upper level low, you got this primary upper level low, and then this short wave, this short wave, that short wave, this short wave, oh, and that short wave up there. Yeah, it's going to be pretty busy over the next 48 to 66 hours. So. That means you're going to want to keep an umbrella handy because any one of these short waves can spark a nice area of showers for you. So just keep that in the back of your mind. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Look for sky cloud cover with a threat for an isolated shower or two. Temperatures will be pretty warm considering the rest of the weekend, not so much. So definitely the warmest day of this period with temperatures ranging from the lower 50s over the interior to the lower 60s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for clear skies to sky cloud cover with low temperatures in the mid 30s over the interior to the mid 40s along the coast. For tomorrow afternoon, watch out for a few pesky showers. Some of those showers will be capable of a brief heavy downpour. Look for high temperatures to range from the lower 40s over the interior to the lower 50s along the coast. On Sunday, a bit drier, more isolated shower threat, but still keep an eye out for those showers. Otherwise, sky cloud cover with low temperatures ranging from the lower 30s over the interior to the upper 30s along the coast and high temperatures in the upper 30s over the interior to the upper 40s along the coast. Monday is going to be a very sunny day. Fortunately, it's also going to be a very chilly day. Look for low temperatures in the mid-teens over the interior lower 20s along the coast high temperatures range from the upper 20s over the interior to the upper 30s along the coast so it's going to be one of those days where it's sunny it looks wonderful out then you walk outside and nearly have a heart attack because it is so cold so you're definitely going to need a heavy jacket on monday on tuesday not much better high pressure and control again a sunny day very pleasant out if you don't mind the cold temperatures Look for low temperatures in the lower teens over the interior to lower 20s along the coast. High temperatures in the lower 30s over the interior to the lower 40s along the coast. On Wednesday, a warm front will approach with a wintry mix of sleet, freezing rain, and rain for the higher elevations. We're talking about northeastern Pennsylvania, Poconos, Catskills, locations like that. Along the coast and pretty much everywhere else, we're looking at rainfall developing in the afternoon and evening hours look for low temperatures in the upper teens over the interior to the mid 20s along the coast high temperatures in the evening in the lower to mid 40s on thursday the warm front lifts north and a cold front approaches by the afternoon with periods of showers especially in the evening hours look for temperatures to range on thursday from the lower 40s over the interior to the upper 30s, and upper 30s to lower 40s really throughout the entire region. So, got that. And then high temperatures range from the mid 60s over the interior to the mid 70s. Now, 
where this warm front sets up is going to be really important because there's a potential here it stalls out right here which would lead to temperatures in the 50s for highs for let's say Connecticut and Long Island so we'll have to watch that very carefully could be a really really impressive thermal gradient setting up over the region on Friday once that cold front clears the coast we could have some early morning showers and sky cloud cover and breezy conditions Look for low temperatures to range from the lower 40s over the interior to the lower 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 40s over the interior to the upper 50s along the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.